If you love Canva but don't like their video editor, then today I'm going to show you a great alternative that is more powerful but just as easy to use. Welcome back everyone. If you find this video useful, feel free to like and subscribe with notifications so you don't miss out on future content. So the problem with the current Canva video editor is that the functionality is limited. It's more of a slideshow editor than a traditional video editor. At the moment, you can't do things like add multiple audio tracks to the project. This is an issue if you want to add a voiceover and a background song together. You cannot add text one after the other in a single scene. This makes it difficult to add captions. You need to add new scenes to show different text. Also, there isn't a traditional timeline where you can edit individual layers so you can't animate different elements on the page. If you want to learn how to edit videos in Canva, I've made a more detailed video on it here. It's actually one of my most popular videos. You can check that out afterwards. However, if you find the Canva video editor leaves you wanting more, then today I want to introduce you to an online video editor called InVideo. InVideo is a cloud-based editor you can access from any browser so no need to download software, just go to invideo.io and set up an account. They have three different subscriptions. The free plan allows you to export up to 60 watermark free videos a month, up to 15 minutes each. You get over 3,500 professional video templates and access to their standard media library with over 3 million assets. The paid plans give you access to premium stock footage, additional premium templates, more cloud storage and HD exports. You can still use the premium footage in the free plan, but they will come with a watermark and you would have to upgrade to the paid plans to remove them. So your free videos are all watermark free unless you want to add premium stock footage. Another thing to be aware of is the free plan lets you download in 720p resolution, whereas the two paid plans lets you download in 1080p quality. You also get a remove background feature on images and more cloud storage in the paid plans. For most people, 60 video exports a month is enough. However, if you are an agency producing content for clients or you want to start a YouTube cash cow channel, then the unlimited plan is probably the way to go. If you want to sign up for any of these plans, then I've put a link to it in the description with a 25% discount code. So look out for that below and you can save some money. Now, let me show you how to make a video. If you love Canva, you'll love this. The first thing you want to do when you sign up is hover over the profile icon and click brand presets. Then add in your brand name, your brand logo and brand colors. This will help you save time later on with templates and new videos. You can also add in your social media links here and upload any end clips. This is useful if you post regularly. Save that, then let's start creating videos. As you can see from the homepage, these videos are your current projects. Then we have three options. You can choose from a pre-made template, a text to video, or a blank canvas. Hovering over some of these pre-made templates lets you see a preview of it. InVideo are quite good in that they make templates for what's trending and even have a calendar with templates for current events and awareness days. They also have pretty cool intros and logo reveals. I'll have to do another video on that in more detail. You can explore all these different templates when you get the chance. Let's just scroll up to the top for now and I'll create a blank canvas and select a wide 16 by nine video for YouTube. Once this is finished loading, I'll show you what we're working with. This is the main editing interface. If you've used a video editor before, this should all be familiar to you. If not, I'll quickly go over the main panels. This big screen is called the preview window where you can see what you are working on. On the left, we have the assets and media panel where we can add content, footage and elements to our video. On the right hand side, we have the settings panel 
where you can edit various elements and layers. Down the bottom is our timeline. This is where we build up our scene and do our editing. It's this timeline that sets it apart from the Canva video editor. This blue bar is called the playhead and it shows you the frame you are on. You can click and drag it along the timeline to, to see a different part of the video. Now, one cool thing that InVideo has that I've not seen before in a video editor is this chat box. If you get stuck on anything, you can talk to a live person within the editor. This is super helpful. I tested it out myself and they replied to me within one minute. So let me first add my logo by clicking this element in the top right. Because I've already added my logo in the brand presets, it will appear in the logos tab. You have the option to add to all scenes or just the current one. I'll just click on add to scene because I've only got one scene at the moment. The logo will now appear in the top right. I'll just drag it to the middle and resize it. I'll also just get rid of this text by clicking on it and pressing delete. Now I can move the logo to the middle and resize using the handles on the edges. The good thing is there are grid lines so you can line it up perfectly to the middle just like that. Now that I've selected the logo and it has the blue box around it, the editing settings on the right are now active. So you can see the editing options when you select it. If you can't see this, then click on the edit tab here. What I want to do is I want to fade it in. So I'll click on logo animation, make sure in is selected. And what I want to do is fade it in. So click this drop down here and it will give you all the options for animations as you can see it can fade in fade left fade right there are literally hundreds of different animations you can apply to this image they have wipes as well it's cool because once you hover over one of these you can kind of see a preview of what it would look like i'll let you investigate all of these in your own time what i want to do is just fade it in possibly for one and a half seconds if you click and drag this you can apply that and now if i click this button here i can play scene from the start there you go that looks good to me now i want to add a new scene with my text slogan so i'll just select this scene button with the plus symbol and select blank scene and click yes to that this is a blank scene, but it already has a text element on it. So I'll just double click on it to add my text. Alternatively, you can add a text box using a text tab on the left hand side. There are lots of pre animated text options here in different fonts. If you select the text, you can change the font size, colors and animations in the edit panel on the right. I mean, you can see how customizable InVideo is because you can even apply an animation to the individual words, the characters, the line, or the whole thing. I think I'll have the individual words fade in from the left. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that looks pretty smart to me. I also want it to fade out, so I'll go back into animation and select out, then I'd add the fade. Fade that out 0.5 seconds. Um, it's got none, so I'll set that to, actually, hold on. If I fade it out to the right, because it came in from the left, I'll fade it out to the right. Now, let me play the scene from the start. Let's see what that looks like. Fades in and fades out. Okay, I mean, it doesn't perfectly match, but we'll go for the, with that for now. Now I've added a logo, I've added text, and I've applied animation to the logos and text. Now I want to add some video footage, so I'll add a third scene and add some stock footage. Again, I'll add a blank scene. Yes. What I'll do is click on that to delete it. Um, click on the logo as well. This is where InVideo shines. If you click on the video tab, you have access to thousands of stock videos. If you have the paid version, you'll get access to the premium stock videos as well. 
These are the ones marked with a crown. You can also upload your own videos by clicking this button next to the search box. I'll add in a video of a laptop. Once you click on the video, you can use the whole video or trim it and use a selection of the video. These handles trim the start and end time. And when you click and drag it, you can select a part of the video to use. You can preview the selection with this play button. You can also adjust the playback speed here if you wish, then click done when you're happy. You'll see the media appear in a new track above the scene. One thing to note, the length of the media can only be as long as the length of the scene. So if the scene is shorter than the media, the media will get clipped. You can easily adjust the length of the scene by clicking and dragging the handles at the side. You can do the same for any of the other layers. When it comes to the timeline, this is an overview of all the scenes. When you click a scene, you can see the layers within that scene appear in the layers tab on the right hand side. Selecting one of these layers makes it appear in a track above the scene and you can adjust the length as usual. However, you can't see all the layers within that scene. In order to see all the layers, you need to click this timeline button. This is like the advanced timeline. This is useful if you have multiple text layers or media within that scene. This is because you can't have footage, media or elements overlap from one scene to another. So here you can have text appear one after the other over the same video. You can also adjust the order of the layers by clicking and dragging them to different positions. You can do this here or within the layers tab. In order to add music, you need to switch back to the basic timeline, click the music tab, then add in a song. I'll just choose one of these. You can of course upload your own audio. The audio file will now appear in its own track underneath the scenes. When you click on it, the editing options for audio will appear in the edit tab on in the top right. As you can see, you can change the volume, fade it in and out. You can also add more than one track, one after the other. In the music tab, just hover over the song or media you want, then click the three dots here. Now you can replace all music, add it before the track or add it after the track. Likewise with a voiceover, you can upload your own voiceover, record it within the editor or import it. The voiceover will then appear underneath the audio track. So you can have music and a voiceover at the same time. Now to add a transition, click on this diagonal red line in a box between the scenes. The transitions will now appear where the preview window was. Again, hovering over it shows you a preview of the transition. There are lots of animated transitions to choose from. I like the look of this RGB glitch effect, so I'll apply that and then click play to see what that looks like. Okay, that looks good to me. There are lots of other transitions you can try out. I've added this one, which is a camera shutter effect as well. Now, if you want to add other elements to your video, you can click on this drop down and you have stickers, overlays, which are like filters. You have different shapes, you have masks and you have layouts. And at the bottom is a social media option where you can embed a tweet or Instagram video or post into your video. This is useful if you want to promote any testimonials for a product, for example, or if you want to make a Twitter compilation video. Just copy and paste the tweet URL into this box and click fetch. Then you can add it to a new scene or overlay an existing one. I'll just add it to a new scene. If I play that from the start, you can see that the tweet is also animated, which is cool. And it also includes the tweet author for credit. And you can do the same thing for an Instagram post. Another thing I want to show you, which is quite sophisticated, is the mask feature. Here you can embed videos within a mask. 
for a free online editor this is a cool feature to have i'll just add a new scene then if you click on mask and search for a letter you can add a word and have a video playing within the word of course this works with the other masks as well i'll just add my name to show you once you've added the mask then you can click and drag a video within the mask so I'll go to the videos tab and I'll add the same video to each letter, then reposition the videos so it looks like the video is playing behind the letters. So I'll just grab this video and drag it into the letter. Then I'll trim the video to make it shorter on the timeline. Then I'll do that another two times. Now that's done, you can reposition the video by selecting the mask, then clicking edit. Under video edit, click edit mask. Now you can reposition the video behind the mask. I'll do that with each letter, so it looks like one video instead of three. I haven't got it quite perfect, but you can see the clouds moving behind the letters. You can fine tune it to your heart's content. When you're done, you can download it. It will render first and once finished will appear in your projects folder where you can export it. If you get stuck, you can join the InVideo Facebook group where you can learn from 20,000 other marketers and creators who are also using it. So if you want to create high quality videos in minutes in your browser, with access to world-class premium footage, then InVideo is worth checking out. Go to the link in the description below and sign up using my discount code for 25% off. As always, if you find this video useful, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.